Hello everyone. Today let's talk about inflation. Hyperinflation. Disinflation. Deflation. And stagflation. These are all part of the economic cycle of a country's economy. Hey Amy, how are you? Hi Chris, how are you? Nice to see you. Hey, are you discussing topics related to inflation and deflation? Can I join? You are most welcome to join. Al, right. Let's talk about inflation first. It's the increase in the general level of prices of goods and services in an economy over a period of time. It is typically measured as a year-over-year -year percentage increase. When inflation is high, the purchasing power of money decreases, and each unit of currency buys fewer goods and services. The cost of living skyrockets. Yeah, on the other hand, when inflation is low, the purchasing power of money increases, and each unit of currency buys more goods and services. Central banks, such as the US Federal Reserve, use their monetary policy to control inflation and to stabilize prices. For example, the United States faced elevated inflation throughout the year 2022, reporting a peak rate of 9.1% in June of that year. As a result, the Federal Reserve increased their interest rates multiple times taking it to around 5% by the first quarter of 2023. Inflation happens mainly because of too much money chasing too few goods, excess of demand over supply, or price increase due to rising production costs. Common measures of inflation in the U.S. are Consumer Price Index CPI, Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index PCE, and the Producer Price Index PPI. What can you do to protect yourself in a high inflationary environment? 1. Increase your earning power by investing in yourself, negotiating for higher pay, becoming an expert in specialized skills. 2. Invest in inflation-protected government securities such as the U.S. Treasury I-bonds, Treasury Inflation-Protected Securities also known as TIPS, etc. Inflation usually shows up in a growing economy that creates jobs and reduce unemployment. However, there can be really big problems if this growth results in runaway inflation. That is when the central banks apply their monetary policy tools such as interest rate hikes and quantitative tightening to bring it down. What if inflation spins out of control even after the central bank uses all the tools in their arsenal? It can potentially land us in a runaway inflation situation that's known as hyperinflation. Hyperinflation is a very high and accelerating rate of inflation. It is typically defined as an inflation rate of 50% or more per month, or prices that are doubling every few weeks. Hyperinflation can occur when there is a rapid increase in the money supply, often as a result of government printing money to finance large budget deficits, but also as a result of other economic factors such as war, economic imbalances, or political instability. One of the most well-known examples of hyperinflation occurred in Germany in the year 1923, after World War I, when the inflation rate reached levels of millions of percent per month. The exchange rate between the dollar and the mark was 1 trillion marks to 1 dollar, and a wheelbarrow full of money would not even buy a newspaper. Now, let's see what disinflation is. Disinflation is a decrease in the rate of inflation over time. It refers to a slowing down of the rate at which prices are rising, rather than a decrease in the overall level of prices. For example, the annual inflation rate in the U.S. slowed down for six straight months from July to December 2022, providing some relief from the elevated inflation reported in the beginning of that year. Disinflation is typically caused by central banks' monetary policies such as interest rate hikes. Note that disinflation is totally different from deflation. Now it's time to discuss deflation. Deflation or negative inflation refers to a general decrease in the level of prices of goods and services in an economy over a period of time. This means that the purchasing power of money increases, and each unit of currency buys more goods and services than before. Deflation can be caused by a decrease in demand for goods and services. And here comes the last one in the group. Stagflation. Stagflation is a combination of stagnant economic growth and high inflation. 
It is a situation where the economy is not growing, but prices are still rising, resulting in a decline in the purchasing power of money. This is considered an unusual economic situation caused by high energy prices, increase in the cost of production etc. During stagflation, central banks' tools to combat inflation, such as raising interest rates, will not be effective. Hope you enjoyed this discussion. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you found this channel useful.